Alright. Hey, what's going on, my people? It's your boy Z Gaming. I'm back for another video on The Walking Dead Road to Survival. Just gonna do a little discussion in this video, and I think I, I got a four star open for you guys. I'll do right quick. But, um, let me do the discussion right quick. So, I think the next tourney is gonna be, um, something to do with the Survival Road. Now, the reason I say this is because Scopely's offering a bunch of stuff you need for the survival road for um the hundred dollar coin package now in my opinion this is a straight cash grab in my opinion this is all about trying to get people to just spend money for this tourney and the people that spend a bunch of money they're gonna win the tourney obviously but this is just another way for scopely to grab some more money off of people you know and the items in my opinion for a hundred dollars are not very good i mean yeah, I mean, I guess you do get three epic guaranteed drug kits, maybe six if you're lucky, but I don't think many people will get that. And then you get the survival energy cans, which you'll probably get three or four most of the time with that as well. But um, the really, honestly, the best guaranteed thing in this is probably, in my opinion, either the survival energy or the survival markers the these you most of these if you've been doing the survival road you've already got maybe 10 10 at least 10 of each of these if you haven't really had too much trouble with the survival road so i don't know exactly what the road the um event's gonna be like hopefully the rewards are interesting something new we'll have to see what scopely does with that but um they just premiered a new recruit the um five star red rosita now I took a look at her stats, and her stats, I think this is probably the most all-around, well-built character that Scopely's made so far. The reason I say that, I mean, if her AR was a 45, she would be overpowered. Absolutely, in my opinion. I mean, her attack is 850, her defense is 862, and her her health is 1,157. That's, I don't think I've ever seen any characters with over 800 have over 1,100 health. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Any characters with over 800 attack and defense and over 1,100 HP all in one, that is that is extremely powerful. And she's a neutralized, so I don't really know what to say about that. That's, I think she's a little bit overpowered in my opinion. And then... You get her dual SMGs. She's kind of like the Red Sandy with the Akimbo pistols. Kind of the same thing. The splash damage. She doesn't have the double attack, but, you know, you buff her HP and her attack, or you take out the um, HP and put defense, but she's going to be an absolute. You're going to see her a lot. I can guarantee that on defense and offense. She's going to be an extremely good ranged character. She's, like I said, in my opinion, this character is overpowered. I mean, she deals 400% damage and minus 80% attack, which decreases by 20% every turn for three turns to up to three enemies. That means she's basically taken two of your characters minimum. Their ARs will be no good for three turns, and by then it'll be too late because their other tunes will have went off and killed your, your teams. Rosita's overpowered. They shouldn't have put this character in the game, in my opinion. Or they should have maybe taken away a little bit of the health or something like that. But people's definitely going to do pulls for her because she's extremely powerful. But not to rant too much about it, you get a, um, you, I guess that's not too bad. You get a guaranteed 1,000 five-star tokens at least. You get 750 four-star tokens, a survival energy road can, and ultra rare gear, and then a chance at, um, well, you get ultra rare or rare gear, and then you get ultra rare. So, my opinion, unless you pull Rosita, it's not really worth it. There's much better stuff you can get with the pulls. You know, Conrad, definitely. The Red Shield, stuff like that. But, other than that, guys, I'm going to do this four-star pull right quick. The only one I want is Jesus. I'm going to pull on Jesus, and I get another Beth. I already got Beth, but, oh, my lord. Scopely did it again. Why can't you just give me four star Jesus? Come on, man. That's the only one I don't have is the four star Jesus. But yeah, this was kind of more of a discussion. I mean, I'm not saying that Rosita is not 
she's going to be, I'm not saying that she's beyond the point where she shouldn't, I mean, yes, I don't think she should be in the game with the stats she has. I think they need to debuff her a little bit. But she's she's a good character, I'll say that. I don't think she's too overpowered to where it's going to be ridiculous, but like I said, Conrad already is a little bit overpowered. He gets absolute defense way too much, in my opinion. He gets it more than the yellows with the um, defender level 3 on their, their weapons that I've seen, like the yellow shield Michonne or stuff like that. But this was kind of more of a discussion. I don't know. We'll have to see, but... I uh, I guess until I go up against Rosita in a raid, which I'm sure people will get her because they'll they'll pay a ton of money for her, but I'll have to see. But my general thoughts beforehand, she's a little bit overpowered. She definitely shouldn't be in the game with the stats she has right now because that's just a little bit too much. I mean, she neutralizes and she does all that damage. That's crazy, but I don't know. With all that really being said, guys, not too much else. Once the survival road hits the um I guess the tourney, I'll give I'll give you guys some input on that and my thoughts and opinion. But like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy Z Gaming. Peace.